every little bit. Now we kind of know where the right spot is. Okay, so legs one and five, 50 centimeters forward. Does it look to you like we've gone, like, like we're staying centered? Okay, 25 more centimeters forward. The athlete can split into two three-legged vehicles that will drive around the cargo, dock to it, and pick it up, becoming again a six-legged vehicle that can then carry that cargo around and then set it down wherever and then undock. And the two three-legged vehicles can then drive away, dock to each other, and go off to their next task. Compared to your average sedan athlete, is pretty slow. It has a top speed of about five kilometers an hour, which I believe comes down to something between two and three miles per hour. Um, but that's pretty fast for a surface vehicle on another planet. The um, Mars exploration rovers don't go anywhere near that speed. On the moon, particularly, you don't want to get going too fast. You know, there's only one sixth gravity on the moon. So that means that if you hit a bump, it's really easy to get airborne. And you don't want to be tipping over your habitat, or really, you know, if, if your athlete is carrying your home with it, you really don't want your home being airborne and bouncing around. Is this fun? Are you kidding me? I mean, I get paid to play with giant robots. It's, it's probably the, my dream job. You know, I couldn't possibly pick a better job. It's basically the Swiss Army knife that, that you know, you take it to the moon or Mars and, and it has all these different tool adapters um, so it can, it can take with a very small mass, you can have the extra tools that you need. So it can roll efficiently over the terrain, it can walk in extreme terrain, it can climb things that no other vehicle can climb. And then when it gets there, it has all these tools in its toolkit that can perform whatever you need to do. The triathlete is a concept that emerged that if you had to pick up a payload and set it, you know, pick it up somewhere and set it down somewhere else, be hard to get the athlete you know under the payload but the easy way to do it is just take the hexagonal frame of athlete and cut it into three pieces and the center rectangle becomes an interchangeable cargo pallet so then you have the two triangular wings and they grab the center cargo pallet and they can move it somewhere else NASA's video file is broadcast daily here on NASA television video files run 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., 12 noon to 2 p.m., 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. to 11 p.m.